Your um, response to the latest developments of the decision of Ecuador to uh, grant uh, asylum? Well, I congratulate Ecuador, of course, for standing up to the British Empire here, for insisting that they are not a British colony and acting as a sovereign state ought to act. And I think they've done the right thing. I appreciate what they've done. And the British government uh, first threatening to raid the Ecuadorian embassy in London, um, also saying they would arrest Julian Assange if he attempted to leave to go to Ecuador, but also saying they'd actually raid the um, embassy. It's an outrageous uh, proposal, which actually undermines the security of every diplomat in the world, in this country right now. I would say it has a chilling effect right now, the very fact that that possibility has been raised. I'm old enough to remember the occasion that gave rise to that, actually. I remember when a Libyan official shot from the Libyan embassy in London and killed a British female officer, Vivian, I think her name was, in 1984. The result of that was that they removed uh, diplomatic recognition from Libya altogether, sent everybody home. Uh, they didn't raid the embassy on that occasion, but that led three years later to a law that permitted them under extraordinary circumstances to do that again. They obviously don't have anyone here who's been shooting from the Ecuadorian embassy at anyone. He's merely been telling the truth there as in London earlier. He should be congratulated for that, not threatened. And uh, Dan Ellsberg, uh, again, the extraordinary uh, efforts that are being taken here by the British government and obviously the Swedish government, uh, supposedly just to question him uh, on uh, 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 allegations of, of, of a sexual attack, not even actual charges. Well, everything that we've seen supports the position of his defense team, that this is not about sexual charges in uh, Sweden essentially, that that's a cover story. The, uh, whatever substance there may be to those stories, but the procedures that have been followed here are extraordinary. A red notice here, uh, on very unusually given, never under these circumstances, to arrest him. And uh, these ef heavy efforts to extradite him after uh, he had offered either to be questioned by the prosecutor herself or by some representative of her in the Swedish embassy or the British embassy or by British police uh, in London where he was, something that, by the way, is routinely done all the time and the expenses paid for that if necessary, all of that being refused. Why? In a situation where this man is charged with criminal charges by no country not by Sweden, not by uh, Britain, not by the United States, uh, although there may in fact be a secret indictment already waiting for him in the United States being uh, denied or lied about uh, right now by my country. But no charges have actually been made public. So here all this emphasis just to get him charged, uh, to get him questioned rather, when he's offered himself for questioning even right now in the Ecuadorian embassy. The Equ state of Ecuador has actually officially proposed that that take place in the Ecuadorian embassy or elsewhere and in London and that has been refused. All of this supports the idea that this is merely a, fact, a way of getting him to Sweden, which apparently would be easier to extradite him from to the United States than Britain. If Britain were totally open to extraditing him, it would have happened by now, or the two years have passed. But he's an Australian citizen, a member of the Commonwealth, and the criteria for extraditing somebody who's been telling the truth and is wanted for what can only be a political crime in another country are apparently more stringent here than they might be in Sweden. So I think that, in fact, I join his lawyers, Michael Ratner and others, in saying uh, that he has every reason to be wary that the real intent here is to whisk him away to America, where it really hasn't been made as clear what might be waiting for him as I think one can conjecture.